If you're looking for an exercise that'll make you look and feel like an absolute badass, then what better place to look than to a real life badass, Jack Lalanne. Of all of these slightly showy moves I perform on this channel, and I mean at this point I'm practically a performing monkey, there's one that gets more comments than any other without fail, that being the Lalanne push-up, also called the Superman push-up. And it's no surprise because it's slightly less common than some of the other cool moves you might see, like handstand push-ups or what have you. At the same time though, it still has that awesome gravity-defying aesthetic that just looks cool by nature. But it's not just a neat party trick, the Lalanne push-up is actually a really powerful exercise to have in your arsenal that trains so much. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how and why you should be doing the Lalanne push-up and why it's awesome. By the way, check out the grass around here. This is meant to be green, but we've had multiple heat waves here in the UK. It's a bit unprecedented. It looks like a post-apocalyptic wasteland around here. The Lalanne push-up was of course made famous by a guy called Jack Lalanne. Jack Lalanne is sometimes called the godfather of modern fitness, and he's remembered for many of his insane feats of strength. He did things like swimming the length of the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge underwater whilst carrying 140 pounds of equipment. He performed 1,000 push-ups in just 23 minutes, aged 42. And even more amazing, he once did 1,000 push-ups and 1,000 chin-ups in just 82 minutes on his show, The Jack Lalanne Show. Reportedly, Jack came up with this specific movement, the Lalanne push-up, when he was asked to demonstrate for someone a finger push-up. And he thought this was too easy, so instead he extended his arms out in front of him, and the rest, as they say, is history. However, it's worth noting that Lalanne probably wasn't the very first person to do this. You might also call it an extended push-up, and there are examples of it being used elsewhere prior to Jack Lalanne. So now I'm going to show you a little bit about how to perform the Lalanne push-up, and at the same time I'm going to talk about why it's such a beneficial movement. But first... So there are lots of good reasons that the Lalanne push-up is way more than just a party trick. For starters, it's best to think of the Lalanne push-up as less of a push-up and more of a core exercise. In fact, it has more in common with, say, a dragon flag or maybe an ab rollout in particular, because what you're doing here is by stretching your arms out in front of you, you have a longer torso that you need to maintain. You have a longer lever arm, and your job is to prevent back extension. So your stomach wants to sag and touch the ground and it's your job to brace the core and prevent that from happening, thereby keeping yourself nice and rigid. And in doing so, you're essentially maintaining a kind of hollow body position, which is the same kind of position used for a whole host of different calisthenics moves, advanced calisthenics moves. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, this is a great exercise for starters. At the same time, a rigid core is crucial for transferring power to the ground. If you do a few of these and you're new to it, then you're going to really feel this in the abs, in the rectus abdomini the next day. Speaking of things that make you look badass... Hi. Yeah, that's right. Today my sponsor is premium lifestyle brand Vincero Collective. So Vincero produces stunning watches, eyewear, jewellery and a whole lot more. Their products are high quality and extremely stylish. Plus, they're ethically made with rigorous quality control. Right now, Vincero are running a sale for their 8th anniversary. That'll net you up to 30% off your entire purchase with all shipping covered. Just click the link in the description box below and go to vincerocollective.com forward slash Bioneer. They also have a 5 year guarantee and 365 day free return policy as standard, so there's no risk to you. I don't know if this makes me a model now, but yes, I'm a model now. I chose the Chrono S watch in Gunmetal and Walnut and the Marshall Shades in Matte Black. And the shades, I feel, make me look like an 80s action hero, which is basically my style aspirations in a nutshell. They're really eye-catching, modern designs, they feel quality, and I've already had a few compliments on them. Thanks again to Vincero Collective for sponsoring this video, and remember you can get 30% off your order right now by going to vincerocollective.com forward slash Bioneer. And speaking of doing away with the need for equipment, the Lalanne push-up is actually one of the very best ways you can train your lats without any equipment at all. I'm talking if you have no pull-up bar, nothing to hang from, and no barbell or dumbbells. This makes it very hard to train the lats, but actually the Lalanne pull-up has something in common with another exercise, that being the pull-over. So when you perform a pull-over, you have your arms over your head like this and you're pulling from the distance that's coming from behind you. This engages the lats. That's exactly the same movement you're using when you perform the Lalanne push-up. Now, a few people have asked whether this might be bad for your shoulders, but the truth is that unless you have some kind of existing shoulder problem, it should be no issue whatsoever. 
Whilst you are going to be in extension with your arms overhead, it's no more so than if you're doing a military press, for example. And actually, you're not going to get your arms all the way up by your ears because your torso is going to get in the way before you can do that. So no, it's pretty safe. And actually, this will build your shoulder stability, which is great if you want to perform things like handstand presses or increase your strength on the military press. It's great for punching, etc. because of course you need stability before you can exert force. At the same time, this is also a great exercise if you want to strengthen your fingers and the tendons in your hand. This is because it is, of course, if you choose to go up on your fingers, a finger push-up, a fingertip push-up. And fingertip push-ups are great for building that kind of grip strength. This one's actually particularly good for that because due to the angle, you're going to be pulling on the ground more so, which makes it more of a gripping motion rather than the force, the pressure coming directly down. Now, of course, performing these on your fingers is optional. The reason we do it is to actually raise ourselves off the ground and thereby creating a greater range of motion. However, if you want the benefits, but you're worried about your finger strength being a limiting factor and preventing you from building more strength, then what you can do is perform as many on your fingertips as you can, and then drop to your hands to complete the set when you're finished. So to perform the Lalan push-up, what you're basically going to do is to get onto the ground as though you're going to perform a regular push-up. But instead of having your hands by the sides, you're instead going to extend them in front of you as though you were trying to reach for something on a cupboard. Legs out straight as well. You're going to ideally have your fingers on the ground instead of your palms of your hands. And then by hinging at the shoulders and a little bit at the waist, you're going to push on the ground and you're going to raise yourself off the ground, like so. It's up to you whether you want to rest on the ground between reps or whether you want to keep yourself slightly suspended in the air all the way through. When performing any kind of fingertip push-up, you don't want your fingers to be digging into the ground straight like that. You don't want them to be bending at the knuckles like that. Ideally, you want to have them splayed so that you have the maximum amount of surface area covering the ground, and at the same time, so it spans this knuckle here. This is going to place less pressure on the joints, and at the same time, by having a little bit more surface area on the ground, it actually makes the movement a little bit easier. If you find this movement a little bit difficult and you're looking for an easier variation, then there are a bunch of obvious options. For starters, you can perform the Lalan push-up on your knees, or you can do ab rollouts on your knees. Alternatively, of course, you can just bring your arms in a little bit closer. That's another easier variation. And you can build up this strength with things like the pullover, like the dragon flag, or even just hollow body holds to get to that point where you're capable of more easily performing this exercise. Another easier variation, of course, is a walkout instead of a rollout. Simply stand with your legs together, bend straight down, place your hands on the floor, and then walk yourself out until you reach that stretched out Lalan position. Of course, this is great as a means to build up to the Lalan push-up because you can just go as far as you need to. You can also alternatively start on your knees. And the other great thing about this, of course, is that you're also working on your ability as you try and get that nice pancake stretch and bend straight down to touch the ground. Conversely, if you want to make the Lalan push-up more difficult, then the obvious option to go with is to simply perform it on a single hand. This will mean that you're lifting essentially double the resistance on one side, but at the same time, it adds an anti-rotational element because now your body wants to twist down towards the side where the arm is missing. So you've got to brace that way as well. Of course, you can remove fingers. I mean, not chop them off, just uh, lift them up or fold them under. Or if you're completely nuts, you can just add weight. So I hope you found this video useful and interesting guys. If you did then please consider leaving a like and sharing it around, that helps me out immensely. What other cool exercises make you feel like a badass? If you did enjoy this video then please leave a like and share it around, that helps me out immensely. And if you enjoy this type of training, then check out my ebook and training program, Super Functional Training 2.0, The Protein Performance System. That also comes with over two hours of video tutorials and it includes the Lalan push-up, loads of progressions building up to it, and lots of other similar exercises that are a little bit more out there and build things that go beyond just aesthetics and strength on a few lifts. Either way, thank you so much for watching this one, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.